welcome to atcm emergency medicine channel today we are going to discuss about nebulizations in this video we should know about what is the definition of nebulization and what are the types of nebulization what is the uses of nebulization uh, what are the equipments needed for nebulization and what are the side effects of nebulization first of all definition of nebulization the process of dispersing a liquid medicine into small microscopic particles that are delivered into lungs as a patient inhales through a nebulizer it is known as nebulization uh, what are the uses of a nebulization if in case of patient having severe asthmatic attack in uh, in patients who are not unable to use a meter dose inhaler in case of uh, severe bronchospasm and uh, patient uh, to reduce the uh, inflammatory and allergic response to the upper respiratory tract um, to correct the respiratory disorders that are responsible for bronchospasm and in some conditions such as COPD, asthma, atelectasis, pneumonia and cystic fibrosis. These are, um, in, in these cases, we should use the nebulization. And uh, next, what are the types of nebulization? One is meter dose nebuliza nebulization, um, uh, jet nebulization, portable and ultrasonic nebulization. These are the types of nebulizations. And uh, next, what are the equipments used for nebulization? Before going that, we should know the definition of a nebulizer. What is meant by nebulizer? Nebulizer is a device which is used to convert the liquid medication into the thin droplets of mist that is directly inhaled into the lungs. This is known as a nebulizer. Uh, next, what are the equipments needed for a nebulization? Uh, we having a um, nebulization mask um, and the medicine which was prescribed by the doctor and the nebulization machine and the syringe. Before that, uh, before giving any medication to a patient, we have to confirm the right patient, the right medicine, the right time and the right dose to the right approach. We should confirm this thing before giving a medication to a patient. Uh, next, we have to explain before giving any procedure, we have to explain everything to the patient. Uh, whatever we are doing, what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages and uh, we have to take a concern before um, uh, doing a procedure next we have to uh, reduce the anxiety of the patient and the position the position is very important we have to position in a semi flawless position uh, like 45 degrees we have to keep the patient in a semi flawless position then we have to gather all the equipments for nebulization um, this is known as nebulization chamber this is the face mask and this is the nebulization tube this is the medicine and this is the nebulization mission and before that we have to take standard precautions uh, before giving any procedure before giving any medications and doing any procedure then we have to take the whatever medicine prescribed by the doctor. We have to place the medicine into the nebulization chamber. And after that we have to connect with the face mask. And we have connect with the nebulization tube. To this end of the nebulization chamber. We have to connect the nebulization tube to the machine. Next, we have to switch on the machine.
and connect to the patient. Here we have to confirm either the mist is producing or not. Then patient is uh, suction, uh, patient is comfortable with the ne nebulization or not. We have to confirm the is patient is comfortable with nebulization. After completing the nebulization, um, there is the secretions which are inside the respiratory tract. It will uh, thin, it will lick, uh, it will thin, and uh, patient started to uh, cuff out the sputum. If patient is necessary, we should provide the uh, sputum mug or uh, some disposable tissues to the patient. And after that, we have to uh, clear the what are the nebulization kit provided to the patient. We have to disconnect the every part. We have to discount every part and we have to clean the, the parts with a warm water or a spirit swab. After that, we have to allow it for dry. Next, what are the side effects of the nebulization? After giving nebulization, some patients sometimes feel uh, irritation, irritation of a throat and uh, nausea, dizziness, um, uh, patient having some unpleasant smell in, in the mouth, uh, heart burning sensation and uh, sneezing and uh, watery eyes these are all the side effects next what are the contraindications for nebulization um, in case of uh, patient having um, instability like uh, hypertension and uh, tachycardia especially salbutamol is the beta 2 agonist which will increase the heart rate in such patients uh, we have to avoid giving a salbutamol thank you